Hi, hiya people. Um, so as a customer, making armor has always been kind of a white whale to me. Like my Moby Dick, if you will. That's a fun social media hack. Did you know you can say dick as often as you want, as long as you put Moby in front of it? Now, I don't know who Moby is or why his dick is family friendly, but I owe him. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make armor. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the shield. I ordered everything that I need. I just have to wait for it to arrive in the mail. So I'll see you there. Guess we came in the mail today. The supplies. So, this isn't the head I ordered. And it's a little creepy. But I'm too lazy to send it back, so I'm gonna use it anyway. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is chop its face off. Yeah. Join me. Okay, now that I've cut it out, I'm gonna um, file it down a bit and make it like a nice curved surface to make it look a bit more um, aesthetic and not quite so big and clunky. And I'm gonna time lapse it because it is probably gonna take a while. Enjoy! Did I switch rooms or did the room switch me? So with the basis of the shield done, I'm gonna start adding in some wood grain because I want it to be a wooden shield. Ooh, but wood couldn't curve like that because if you curve against the grain, it's gonna split. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, shh. I'm gonna use some sandpaper to file everything in. Um, this would be a lot faster if I had a Dremel, but I don't. And I just had to pay this year's tuition fee for my education, so. Mama's on a budget, kids. <laughs> Some wood streaks. Nice. Dry brushing. Nice. Some weathering. So now I'm going to take this dress because I never actually wear it because it's a little too short for me. And I'm going to turn it into this shirt and this scrap fabric because I really want to use this lace as a stand in metal front top of the shield. I just have to paint it and glue it on there. Filming that took so many tries. Please cry for me. Now because I'm on a budget, I'm limited in the paints I can use to the ones I already have. And 
I tested out a bunch of them, but these golds that I originally wanted to use look god awful and they made it look really cheap and just unpleasant in general. So I've decided to use this one, which I stole from my sister. Um, this is theft, um, but it looks really nice, so it's okay. The moral of the story is that theft is fine as long as it looks good. That transition does not do justice to how long that actually took. I feel the need to get recognized for my hard work. I spent a full week every afternoon cutting out and gluing on tiny pieces of lace onto this thing. It looked something like this. It was quite therapeutic, actually. Tomorrow. I'm ready to start working on the wings, but the only thing I can come up with as to how to do them is paper mache. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna go with that because it's cheap and I know how to do it. So <laughs> if you're wondering about this camera angle, by the way, I have pimples on this side of my face and I don't really feel like showing them. So I'm just kind of, you know. I always forget exactly how much water I have to mix in to get it right for paper mache. <laughs> that was nearly enough stuff for this much water. Okay, I added a little bit more and now I have to leave it for about 15 minutes. I swear, I do this every time. I just completely forget how I have to mix the paper mache glue. It's not food, it's not food. <laughs> it's not food, baby. <laughs> oh, it's thick. <laughs> okay, so here's how I've been making the wings. I have the paper cut out and I add a wire that matches the shape of one of the feathers. Then to that wire, I add paper mache. Then you repeat that. And once you have two, you stick them together. And then you keep doing that until... Until you have the wings. I love them. I think they turned out extremely well. I have four of them. Over there. I just have to stick them together. So uh, here's another transition, I guess. If you're thinking there's a lot of transitions in this video, you are correct. The memory on my phone is almost full and I don't have the budget to be doing anything fancy like a time lapse. Instead, there will be a lovely transition of this turning into something else. You'll find out. <laughs> yeah, so I painted it and I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but it doesn't go with the rest of the shield. So I'm just gonna repaint it. I wish I'd realized that before I did like three of them. Yeah, so I repainted it and it looks better. Yay. I think it's a lot more subtle this way. Face paint time. Um, I used a base layer. What a beautiful painting technique I have there. Um, and then I used this crackle paint. You have to use quite a thick layer, otherwise it doesn't really crackle nicely. I wasn't super happy with it. Um, but yeah, I applied a thick layer of that, and then I watered down acrylic paint. Um, yeah, the box said you had to use a specific paint, but that wasn't true at all. And I hated the result, but then I painted over it and futzed around with it, and then I loved the result. Um, which meant that it was time to add the finishing touches and to show you the reveal.
Do I look cool? So cool. Thank you. If you're waiting for an outro, I don't know what to tell you. I still don't have one, okay? I never will. Subscribe if you want to see me make the rest of the armor. Uh, I'll get around to it at some point. This took already so much longer than I thought it would. Okay, it took four months. Actually, by now, so it'll probably take a little bit more. It took more than four months, and it was supposed to take three. <laughs> Sorry about that. I feel like I'm that absent father that just shows up around the holidays and, like, waves and gives you a shitty Christmas pres present, and then he kind of fucks off again. Um, I love you, son. Subscribe.